Okay, we review the determinant. What is determinant? Uh, we uh, use recursive de definition for determinant. Uh, the second, uh, the second uh, order determinant, or the de or the determinant of order two, that we can write as A, B, C, D. The determinant is uh, absolute, uh, absolute different with matrix. The determinant is a number, a determinant is a number that is a d minus b c and for a3 the order of three that is a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 okay uh, the determinant we sometimes we write as a uh, in two uh, in two vertical lines, or the determinant of A. If A is a matrix, we write as the de determinant of A. The order, the three order determinant, A three two, A three three. We for for order of three or high order determinant, we use uh, uh, deter determinant ex expansion. That is a one one times negative one one plus one. The uh, the index indices of its row, its location of its row and its location of its column. And uh, A, we could write as A22, A23, A32, A33, plus A12, negative 1, 1 plus 1. That is A21, A23, A31, A33 plus a13, negative 1, uh, that's 1 plus 2, that's 1 plus 3. That is a21, a21, a22, a31, a32. But what this means, that is a11, negative 1, 1 plus 1. All the this, this three uh, determinant is actually the original determinant uh, cancelled the the lum the number the the row uh, the row and the column the row and the column of the uh, of this number located a one three a two one a two two a two three a three one a three two a three three plus a actually because this is a one one so we cancelled the first row and the first column the the remains the remain the remaining um, determinant okay the a12 negative 1 1 plus 2 that is a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 a31 a32 a33 we cancelled a the column and the the, the row and the column of a12 plus a13 negative 1 1 plus 3 that's a11 a12 a13 
a two one, a two two, a two three, a three one, a three two, a three three. Okay, we cancelled the A13, the, uh, the row and the column of the A13. Uh, okay, that's the definition of, of A3 and A4 and uh, any other order can be write as uh, sigma A. I G and uh, A I G as J from one to N. The A I G is negative one. I plus J times C I G. The C I G is uh, equals the A which which is a cancelled cancelled uh, i row and uh, j's column which is a uh, when a cancelled i row and uh, j's column the, the remaining the remaining determinant Th this is uh, expansion by by i's because the i's does, does not change here in the in the summation by i's row. Uh, actually, uh, the determinant can be expansion by any row or any column. That's the definition of the. Oh, actually, we can write as i from 1 to n. That's a i g, a i g for any for any g. The g for any g is the same thing. That's the definition of the uh, determinant. Uh, there's many properties of the determinant. We only collect the most important properties here. The first one is when we uh, in exchange or interchange two rows, uh, the determinant changes sign. When we uh, interchange or exchange two rows, then the determinant change is sign that's from positive to negative, or from negative to positive. Uh, any common uh, common factor of one row or column uh, can be moved outside can be moved out the determinant that means uh, we times times the, the determinant by this number and uh, divide the row by the same number. Uh, this is a different. This this is different uh, with matrix. Uh, the row reduction for matrix. Uh, if we divide one row or column by uh, give, divide by one row by a number, and the, the matrix is equivalent. The two matrix are equivalent, but for uh, determinant if one row divided by one number it, it should be multiplied the same number outside 
uh, the third property that, that is uh, multiply one row or column multiply one row or column by a scalar and then add to another row or column the determinant does not change or column by a scalar and then add to another row or column uh, the determinant the determinant does not change These three operations, these three properties are used to, to, to compute the determinant. And these properties is very, light, very similar to row reduction. But for determinant, uh, any operation on uh, rows can be, uh, can be used for columns. That, that, is, that is for uh, determinant, the row and the column are uh, have have the same uh, the the this, the same uh, importance. Now let's use the uh, this properties and the definition of the determinant to find to to evaluate uh, the determinant. Okay. Uh, first, actually, we use the, uh, the uh, operation, row operation, or these three operations are called elementary operation. Elementary operation. We use elementary operation to to compute the determinant. Uh, now the determinant A, or sometimes we write as this as one, two, three, four, and uh, one, three, four, one, one, four, one, two, and uh, no one, two, three. Use row operation, uh, elementary operation. Actually, we use uh, the method is used to uh, reduce the order. Reduce the order. The method of reduce the order. Uh, what is reduce the order? Uh, first, uh, we uh, use the elementary operation to reduce the one uh, one column or one row to be all the all to be and all the members of one column to be zero except one. Uh, for this one, uh, each row uh, subtract the first row, then the first column to be all zero. As except for the first one. The second uh, row uh, subtract the first row, that is 1, 1, negative 3. And here is 2, negative 2, negative 2. And here is negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. Okay. That's one, two, three, four. Uh, zero, one, one, negative three. Actually, the <coughs> okay. Sorry, sorry. Uh, because the first row of the first column are all zero except one. We expand the determinant by the first column. 
So that is 1 times negative 1, 1 plus 1. And the, let, the, the remaining determinant is 1, 1, negative 3, 2, negative 2, negative 2, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. And the third, the third uh, row has common factor negative 1. So we uh, times negative 1 or divide by negative 1 for, OK. And that, that is, means the common factor of the third uh, row can be moved outside. That is, uh, we move uh, negative 1 outside. Then the third row becomes 1, 1, 1. And there's 1, 1, negative 3. And uh, 2, negative 2, negative 2. And uh, the the second the second the second row has common factor two, so we move to two outside. One one negative three, that is one negative one negative one 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 one. That is negative two, and we use uh, elementary row operation. Elementary operation. The second row subtract the first row, that is 0, negative 2, uh, 2, 0, 0, 4. And then we expand by the uh, third row, that is 4. The 4 is at the uh, third row and uh, third column. And the remaining is the one one zero negative two. By the definition of uh, determinant of order two, here is the negative h and the uh, times negative two, that is sixteen. That's the method of reduce the order. We reduced one. We reduce one column or one row to be all zero except one number, one member, and expand the uh, expand the determinant uh, in terms of that row or column, and then uh, the, and then the order of the determinant is reduced. Okay, that's the the example of for computing the determinant. Let's see another example. The determinant of A that is one 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 negative one 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 negative one one one, 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 negative one. First, we subtract uh, each row, subtract the first row. Zero, negative two, zero, zero. Zero, zero, negative two, zero. Zero, 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 negative two. Expand by the uh, first row, we have negative 2, 0, 0, 0, negative 2, 0, 0, 0, negative 2. Uh, because this is the di diagonal determinant, we just uh, uh, multiply, the, multiply the number in the diagonal, as di di uh, diagonal line. So that is negative h. Otherwise, we can expand, expand the determinant row by row and we got the uh, the result is negative h. That's the computation for determinant.